In this video, I will show you how to install WordPress locally for free. This method is also suitable if you are using Mac or Windows. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to practice or test to build your website with WordPress on your own computer or laptop without need to pay for domain name and hosting until you are ready. Another good thing for this method is that you can build multiple different WordPress sites locally for others and show them your sample website after you have done by providing them a special link with username and password for them to view your sample work. Okay, the first step is to install the app. So first, go to localwp.com. So after you reach to this website, click download for free. So from here, choose your platform. So as you can see, if you are using Mac, just choose Mac. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I will just choose Windows and fill in your first name, last name, your email, and your phone number, and click on get it now to download the app. So after the download complete, you will see the file here. Just double click to install the app. This is one of the free apps that I use to manage my multiple WordPress installation locally. Let's click on run. After the installation done, run the local apps by double click on this icon. If this is the first time you run this app, you will not see any installation on this menu. So you can click on the plus icon here to add a new local site installation. Just click on that. After that, give your site a name. For this example, I will use test site 2. So from here, you can use the default setting for the installation or you can click on custom. From here, you can select the PHP version you want to use, the web server you want to use, and the database version. But for this example, I will just use the default setting and click on continue. So at this menu, give your website a username. and your email address. Make sure that you remember the username, the password, and your email address you enter because you will need this to enter to your WordPress dashboard. Take note that if you see some error during the installation process, just click the OK button first and I will show you how to fix the error later. After the installation finish, if you don't see some error during the installation process, you will not see the warning sign here. So if you don't see the warning sign here, which means everything installed correctly, and you can click on this admin button to log into your WordPress dashboard. From there, you can use your local WordPress installation like normal. Take note that if you see some error during the installation process, you will see the warning sign here and you are unable to log into your WordPress dashboard. When you click on admin, you will see something like this. So if you see the warning sign here, continue to the next step where I will show you how to fix this error. So in this step, what you need to do to solve this warning error here is open to your explorer to go to your windows installation folder windows and then go to system 32 next go to driver etc and you will see the host file here just right click on this file, properties, and remove the read only checkbox. After that, click on apply, continue, and click on OK. 
and after that go back to the local app and click on this button fix it and you should be able to solve the error message so after you solve the error message you will not see the error message here again so from here you can click on this admin button to log into your wordpress dashboard so from here you will need to key in the username and the password that you have entered earlier So you have successfully logged into your local WordPress installation. In this step, I will show you the basic function you can do with this app. At any time, you can add a new local site by clicking the plus icon at the bottom left of the app here. Next, when you click on the local sites icon here, you will see the list of the WordPress site you have installed locally. You can click on it to view the installation details. Another thing is that you can right click on your site. This is where you can clone the site, export the site, change the domain name or rename the domain name or delete the site. From here under the overview, you can also change your site name by clicking the change button here. To change your local site name next you can also change your web server here and your php version here under the database tab you can click on it to view your database function here you can also click on open admin to view on your database the next step is the two tabs this is where you can view the extra tools function here, but I will not go through for this tutorial. Another thing you will notice that if you view on your local installation site, you will see a non-secure here. So to enable your local installation to SSL enable, what you need to do is go back to your local app and under the SSL function, Click on the trust button here. After you see trusted here, what you need to do is go back to your WordPress dashboard. Under plugin, add a new plugin. From here, we need to install SSL. Really simple SSL plugin. Click on install. After install, click on activate. From here, click Activate SSL. You will need to re-log in to your WordPress dashboard again. So, just key in your username and password again. Let's click on Visit Your Site. And you will see the padlock SSL enabled here. And the next step is to share your website. Let's say this is the site that you have done and you would like to share this website to others. So this is what you need to do. You will notice that there is an enable button under the live link menu. Click on the enable and this will generate a special link with username and password for you to share with others so that they can view on your website. Click on the drop down here. And from here, you can see the username and the password. So what you need to do is to copy the link. This is the link that you need to share with others so that they can view on your work. And this is the username and the password they need to enter to view on your website. For example, let's say we click on the link. You will see the username and password. What you need to do is to enter the username and password and your website can be seen by anyone as long as your computer is on and connected to the internet. This is because your website is installed locally so you need to turn on your computer and connect it to the internet in order for others to view on your website. So if you want your website to be live online 
you will need to purchase the actual domain and hosting. Check the link in the description where I will show you how to transfer your offline local site to online website. With this method, you can install multiple WordPress websites locally for free and use it for testing purpose. But the downside is that if your computer goes offline and your website will be offline. So to turn around this, you will need to purchase a domain name and host and transfer it to make it live. And luckily, this can be done with a very low price with just a few clicks. Check the link below for more information and I will show you how to transfer it to your actual web hosting. I hope that you found this video to be informative and helpful. If you can like and subscribe to this channel, I will give you a big thanks and I will leave a link in the description for you to check out to learn more about WordPress.